Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will be solving simultaneous equations again. We will start with two different equations. We will start with x plus y is equal to negative 1, and we will have 3 is equal to y minus 2x. We will solve by simultaneous equations by substitution. We'll make one of the letters, otherwise known as variables, the subject of one of the equations. Then we will substitute into the other equation. Excuse the spelling mistake, other should have an R. Right, let's just do an example over here. Let's solve for x and for y. x minus y is equal to 1. Now we know that's our first equation. And 3 is equal to y minus 2x. And that's our second equation. We'd like to naturally isolate one of the variables. So in our first step, we will do exactly this. Let's look at x minus y is equal to 1, as that seems to be the most simple of the two. So let's isolate x. We say x is equal to 1 plus y, because minus y changes to plus y when it crosses over the equal sign. Now you see I've changed it from minus to a plus. All right, that is our first sort of solution. All right, step two. We need to substitute x back into the second equation. So wherever there is an x, we need to sub in 1 plus y into the equation. So the equation is naturally 3 is equal to y minus 2x. I've written it down and I've just made a cloud around the x is equal to 1 plus y. So as you can see, I've added the 1 plus y in to replace the x value. And as you can see, there are no x values left. We now have only y values. And I'm just going to make a note about that. That there are only y values, so there are no x's at all. It's very important that you get this in your first step. If you don't, then you've done something incorrectly. Okay, let's group our like terms. We have y and minus 2y. So we'll take our minus 2 across to the left hand side. When it goes across, we change from a negative to a positive. Hence the positive 2 that I've written down. There we go. We say that's equal to minus y, or y minus 2y, giving you minus y. So I've simply done it ready for us. You can see I've got minus y. Cool. 3 plus 2 is 5, and we carry the minus y down. So therefore, minus y is equal to 5. We divide both sides by minus 1. We get y is equal to negative 5. Now let's substitute this value back in to where we have x is equal to 1 plus y. That was the first term that we managed to somewhat solve, as you can remember, above. So, we have y is equal to minus 5. Let's sub that into x is equal to y plus 1. We say x is equal to minus 5 plus 1. Minus 5 plus 1 is equal to minus 4. Now we have two answers. We've got y is equal to 5. And we have x is equal to minus 4. We can now check our answer. 
So let's check our solution. And then we will write the final answer down. Lovely, let's move forward. We say x is equal to minus 4 and y is equal to minus 5. Easy game.